Hey guys, as always, it's lovely to see you all. Um, if you haven't already, make sure to go watch my video preparing for the Yorvik Equestrian Festival yet that I filmed yesterday. Um, because this video is basically going to be my last minute training and then my journey on the way there. So, yeah, let's get started. I don't want to bore you. I just want to get right into things because we have a lot to do today. The first thing is going to be a show jumping clinic. We have an Olympic trainer come to visit the yard today. So I had to, of course, book a clinic with her. And then in the afternoon, I actually have a little dressage competition with my horse Barillo, which is being hosted by our head stable hand, Theo. And then finally, we need to pack up and go for the equestrian festival. Let's get started. Hey, all right. Great to see you. So this must be Persephone, the show jumper I've been hearing about can't wait to give you guys a lesson today so we're gonna start with a nice warm-up nothing special just to get around it in listening then we're gonna pop a few cross poles and then move on to the bigger jumps just because i want to focus on your technique your direction your strength towards the jump and your striding i want you to know that i want you to ride everything the same big or small but yeah we won't go too big because i just want to see where you guys are at does that sound all right to you uh, yeah, yeah, that sounds that sounds great. Thank you. Perfect. Now just give her a nice warm up for me. Just a few circles, maybe a few shallow loops, maybe a couple serpentines. Just get her bending and listening and nice and supple on the bit. And that will ensure we will have a nice calm jumping session today. <laughs> Perfect, you've got her going really well. We should probably leave the warm up there, so go pop over the blue and green cross pole for me, please. Really lovely, she's definitely ready to build into the bigger jump, so go and pop over that purple upright for me, please. That jump was a bit deep. So, come round to the red and white, make sure to push her some more, okay? That one was a little bit long. Uh, to the next jump, maybe try to keep it in between the hand and leg, sort of in the middle of what you just did. Yes, good, now come round to the triple bar with the same impulsion. Okay, I can really see that you and Persephone have that directness and accuracy down. But when it comes to a jump off, that's not our main concern. It's about those tight turns and getting that low number. So try and come over this yellow upright and then run over to this red and white upright. And let's see how tight you can get those turns while still keeping her nice and balanced. Wow, that was really good actually, really nice. I like how you kept your balance and you really supported her with your inside leg. And that really wraps up our lesson, so give her a nice cool down and I hope to teach you again soon. Hey guys, so it's a few hours later now. It is now f half four, is it? Yeah, yeah, it's half four. Anyway, there is a evening dressage sort of mini competition held within the yard tonight. And as you all know, I'm leaving for the JEFI tomorrow morning. So I just thought... What a wonderful little calm, low pressure, little, I don't know, dressage test competition thing that I could get me and Barillo to do as a little practice. It is being hosted by our our top stable hand, uh, lead stable hand, whatever you want to call it, Theo. Um, he's been wanting to be in a video for a while. He needs to be in a video at some point. I mention him a lot and then I just never put him in the video. But yeah, um, it's going to be hosted by him. It's been run by him. Um, so yeah, let's get right into it. I just am so looking forward to this. I just am looking forward to just a nice calm test before the chaos of the next few days. And I just love this horse so, so much. He is so cool. So cool. So I'm really looking forward to doing this test with him. 
Anyway, so the warm-up arena is currently filling up. I can see it out the corner of my eye. So I think we're just going to go head over there. I have no idea where my test is, when my test is. So I think I'll use the fact that the warm-up arena is full as a sign to get going. Okay, so it was a very good thing I did decide to shift when I did because the warm-up arena was not only insane, as you'll probably see in a minute from Olive. Yep, there you go. Um, but I was second and I had no idea, which is not helpful. So yeah, good thing I did decide to play it safe and be early because yeah, I was, my round was early. Um, but it also was sort of a blessing and a curse because it meant that I could sit around and watch everyone else's ri ra round. Oh my God, I can't speak. I could sit around and watch everyone else's round when um mine had finished up and barilla had been called off and put away so that was a really nice that was a really nice thing one thing i will say about this warm-up was i was looking around at everyone especially like olive and ram who had their mains plaited up all nicely and yeah there were a few people who didn't have their mains plaited because it is just a in yard closed competition but i was so i was planning on getting um brillo will plait it up for some nice pictures and i just I was like oh no i forgot and i do definitely did not have time to before my round so ah, uh, yeah that that was sad that was sad but yeah hey ho i'm not gonna lose this yeah kind of hate myself sometimes everything was on the line didn't want to be the one who had to say So I've just put Barillo away for the night in his stable and I'm about to get changed into some comfier clothes and get my hair out of this god awful bun. Um, so yeah, once I'm done with that, I'm then going to head back to the arena and watch some of the other rounds, but I probably won't film it just because I just want to relax. I want to relax and I want to have some fun with my friends. We'll take some photos though and I'll send you them. Should I send you them? Show you them? Whatever. Um... But yeah i'll show you them at the end uh but yeah thank you guys so much for watching it's been a wonderful day and we will be heading to um the orphic equestrian festival tomorrow morning and that vlog will be out very very soon hope you all have had a good day or will have a good rest of your day and i will see you next time you can meet me on our way out